Right, so the first thing you want to do really, lay it into your laser. I already lowered the bed down a bit because you want to make sure, you know, when it comes across, it don't crash into it. First thing you want to do really is, like, measure the full width, which is 13 and 3 eighths for mine. It should be the same this way. Yep, 13 and 3 eighths. So, to get this lined up on the laser now, this is the best way that I, you know, find to do it. Let me just move the camera over it. So what I would do is, I would click on this square tool, hold down shift so it draws a square, you know, an actual square. It don't matter which size for now. And then lock these two because they're both the same. And now I want it 13 and 3 eighths, so that would be 13... Uh, 0.375 and then press enter and now you can see it's jumped to that size I'm just going to move that a little bit more in the center of the and then I'm just going to send this so send I'll call it photo frame oh well photo fr Okay, that's sent. File, yep, photo FR, that's the one. Enter. So, what I would do now is press frame. You see roughly where it's going. Okay, line the top corner up and press frame again. Good, so now I know that that's correct, so I'm going to come back to the computer. Right. So we know we're in the right place, so now this o, o button for the offset will give you an offset. We want this one to go inwards because we've already got our outside line. Inwards, this is the distance, so I just measured that, 2 inches corner because we don't want it rounded so okay okay so now this is the picture frame on there so now if you wanted to write you know whatever you want to write in um, to do that you just make sure you're on the text tool type it out. This can be stretched sometimes it don't look right. Also this little right dot up in the corner if you do want to round it around something and if you do something and you decide you don't want it you can just press Control and Z together press Control first then Z and it'll take give it to where and how you want it. I'm going to just for this so we can see that it's correct I'm going to stretch it to this inside and I'll stretch it to this inside so now I'm just going to send this one thing so I'm going to say send still call it photo FR it's going to say already exists overwrite yes ok so file enter and let's put this camera over it now when I frame it, it should make a square that ends right about where these lines are like it did on there. So let's see if that's the correct frame. Yep, yeah, and you can see, even on there I was a bit closer to the bottom than the top, so. 
is how I would line it up and then that way if you wanted to write something down the bottom you can just write it in you've got the whole picture frame on there now so you could write down the sides just by it you know yeah so now you could write anywhere on that design To where you want it. If you want to make sure it's definitely right in the centre, you just control and click the outside because now it'll give you the centre between these two. You just come up to the tool at the top, uh, this one, so you align the vertical centres, and now you know that's right in the centre. And same thing if you wanted to write something down the sides, you could just to show that in case people weren't sure of the best way to but that's the best way that I found because now what you've got on the laser you know exactly where it is as long as you don't move it I mean one way of not you know if you don't want to move it when you put it in when you put it in here I mean you could get saying I'll just make like these yeah and you can just cut them out and then you could poke it in down here. You just gotta get it in the right spot really. Just so it touches it. And then the same, you put one here to make sure. This one's broken. Like this. You just touch it against it without moving it. And then same. You're better to do this really when you first frame it. When you frame the original square, is the best time to do that because then you can recheck, make sure you haven't moved it. Let's see if it did move, it didn't move much, but you just want to as well make sure that these are flat or you know. These ones, they're actually less than six millimeters. So you can actually put them like this. But I normally do that if it needs pinning down. This piece of wood's very flat, so I just planed it, so. But yeah, that's the easiest way I found. So again, thanks for watching. And I'll try and put out some more videos and hopefully help someone out. Thank you. Okay, this is what I like about this jig is once you've got your rabbit cut in to the wood there and it slips over the top of the jig when you when you set this point here so whatever size you want so I'm going to do it 12 inches now when this hits up against here it's actually measuring this point so when you cut up here at the 12 inches you're actually getting the 12 inches exactly like so if you had a piece of glass that was 8 by 12 yeah that would give you a perfect 45 degree angle and the perfect measurement roughly for now. My wife took my type on the glooming doors so I've got tacky glue for now but this is just I only just want to show you with how to line it up on the laser and stuff. <laughs>